Welcome, this is Goblin Marine, and this time we're looking at Maritime Marinated Meat in the WCW Windy City Warmongers Dillinger Season 8. This is Game 5. This week I'm up against Striker OD, who's a Twitch streamer, and his Lizards, Ender Shadow. So, I hate playing against Lizards, Strength 4, and the Crocs is just oppressive. Uh, but I do have plenty of Claw to try and take them out, so we're going to see how this goes. I think he won and chose to kick, and he got a high kick. Aw, oh, I hate the replay feature. So, I got a babe. I think that's all I got on inducements. Yeah, I don't look to have a loner. So, I didn't get a merc or anything. I just got the babe. Alright. Skip. So, there it is. He didn't catch it. Uh, he has a magic dome, so there's always nice. Uh-oh. Goblin taking a punch. Uh... Put the goblins on the line because the line rats are just better. Yep. And I'd rather risk the goblins than the line rats. Uh, they are more likely to leave the pitch and get broken. Uh, but that would have broken any of them. I mean, the, the three die helps. The lack of wrestle or block. Uh, okay, so he's going after my thrower. Push. I'm a little surprised he didn't greed reroll that. With mighty blow block and guard. So I'm going to be targeting whichever piece I can uh, every turn with this guy, Snillich, to try and murder it. Uh, Snillich and Obsolich, my runner, are in the hit list on Windy City Warmongers, which means that they have been marked as pieces to kill. So they should be targets. I don't think Striker cares particularly. All right, pops the troll. Pops the troll. So that's unfortunate. Usually, like the troll's whole job on this team is just to get punched in the face. Uh, and he did it admirably there, but he's going to fail at it next turn, because he went down. Okay. And then he's going to cage up. No, he's not, he doesn't need to. Okay, that's good that he didn't think he not, needed to. So, a stunty could get through here pretty easily if I tried. I got my retriever stunty. Alright, and... Hit's going to be here on this guy, probably, because he gave it to me, and there's not a lot else around there. Ah, push. And then I got to come back here behind these guys. All right, that's fine, too, as long as I screen him off. I don't really like these two being, these being vertically stacked like this, so he can, if I hadn't made that, he could just get guard in there. Right, so I'm just trying to screen him off. I don't really care too much if he scores right now. Um, because I've got to be playing sort of a long game here. Like, I've got to be playing for attrition to try and get his Saurus in particular off the pitch. Because I can, I can play against the Skanks. i got enough tackle. i got two tackles is enough, act really, for four Skanks on the pitch. And he doesn't have spares. So it's really getting the Saurus off the pitch that I want. Then I can play my game. And he won't be able to punch me as easily. Right, so he's moving over here. It doesn't look like he... Yeah. Croc splits. Uh, on killer. So I got a little lucky there. Like that's... Was that a... Break tackle? It was a dodge. It was a break tackle dodge. For that hit. So that was a miscalculation on my part. I should have paid more attention to that. And I still don't, this is why I didn't like them stacked. Alright, so he gets in there. So, yeah. The troll has to come stand on this guy, I think. Oh, he can't. Okay. So I'm trying to get myself, so now it's a blitz for the three die. Or the two die, rather. All right, right, one, two. He's turned off by him. So we're going to take the hit. A claw mighty blow. Claw palm hit, even, on the crocs get him. So this is an immediate pylon. If he doesn't go out, it's a pylon. Already used Mighty Blow, but that's fine. I don't care. Gotta get him off the pitch. So all I needed was one higher. Oh, Thick Skull saved him the first time. Huh. So I had to stop Thick Skull from doing things. Get him off of me. Probably I should have pushed him here and followed, and then I could have taken another wrestle hit, but that's okay. I don't really want to take hits on lizards. 
So that's a big important thing to get him down already. Shadowing. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull this Saurus here on two pluses. I'm not going to reroll him if I fail. And he doesn't, he's got tackle, but I, was, I wanted to take this two die because it was going to be two assists, two die on him. That was the play that I was going for, uh, which is ridiculous, but I knew he would use shadowing. He wouldn't stop. But now if he stays there, I get a claw palm hit on him. If he hits one of these guys, I get a claw palm hit on it. So I've successfully drawn him into where I can get another claw palm hit on Terra or Petra if I want. Oh, the Shen's coming. Gonna push him. Rerolls. That's a piece with dodge, so he gets to hang on to it. Push. Stays. Okay. Pushes. So he's getting lots of pushes. I'm getting lucky here. So he can't score this turn. I'd have actually... I don't know. I don't know what his goal is. I'd have been a little bit more aggressive up in here on that, but I guess this guy's dangerous enough. Snicket is dangerous enough. Putting the boots in on the killer. Everybody does that all the time. Not surprising. But he fails because he doesn't have that many assists. Okay. So, I, yeah, I don't have enough to go after these skinks. He's off, he's off, he's going to add an assist. So two, I can go after this skink, I think, on a blitz. With this one, I can't. I need another assist here. So I, if I pull him around and pop him out of the, no. So this guy's got a shot on the ball. But I need to get this skink out of Well, and I can't do it with the Blitz. So this guy could, if I, no, he's got guard. Oh, but he's got horns. So, okay. I have a five, five plus two die on the ball. It's not a good, it's, it's like a 55% play if I use the reroll on it. But I do have a five plus on the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I also have a two plus, but it's a blodger, a blodge stuffer. So this is the guy who would need to make it because he's got Tackle and Russell. I don't know that I like that. There's not a good way to, to dodge out. Uh, the troll needs to come here. One, two, three, four, to turn this guy, this guy, and this guy off. Um, then I can hit, if I stand him up, I can hit Petra with the two die on a blitz. One die, it's only a one die. I can get an assist on, on Shen then. If I move the troll here and then this guy comes around, I can get a two die on Shen. That's probably what I take. First off, the troll is going to come on the backside because that's critical to that whole play, is turning off all those assists. He's probably going to mark the ball just to be annoying. Oh, he comes back for the assist. I see. And then it's on Shen. Get him. I'm going to follow. And this is a pylon every day. That's that's fine. That freed up a goblin in fact. Pylon every day. Success. And he's injured. So he's going to apple this because that's a really good Saurus. So no harm, no foul. He went from dead to still being on the pitch. All right. Two heads and dodge. This guy could only be better if he had Agi, so he would have one more skill. But putting the other thrower up in front a little bit. Probably this goblin needs to come around. Oh. Shadowing? No. So he's going to go and activate the troll next turn. Striker's throwing his punches. Um, I don't know when he starts thinking about putting it in. I might start this turn. Because he's in range. Two, four, six. Yeah, he's in range to put it in this turn. So I would start thinking about that. That gives me a lot of turns, but he gets his Saurus back. Uh, the downside is he takes line of hit, line of scrimmage hits. So he hits Snicket. Doesn't do anything. Snicket's fine. All right. He's going to blitz the goblin off or just punch him. Dub skulls. Dodges a thing. 
So he just stays here. He's content to stay there. Push. Don't follow. Yeah. Okay. Putting the boots in again. Stun. So, so far I took out a Crocs and a Saurus with him in exchange for a stun. So I'm going to take my hit on the ball. Push. He's going to run away. That's fine with me. I get another hit on him if I want. I go up here to give an assist. I come down here to keep him from sidestepping that way. I take my punch. Take a reroll. That happens. You know, 1 in 81 is happening. So. I still think that was probably the right play. Because um, I had Retriever guy right here. So if I get the ball free, he can get it. You know, if it goes here, that's fine. He's, he's not getting up the skank. If it goes in any of these, I can just get in and get out. And as usual, he just doesn't roll pals on me. So that's fine too. This is the hit. Or, ooh. Spicy. But he wants this source to do other things, obviously. Alright, he's going to blitz him off. Takes the both down. So now I've got shots on the ball. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. So for one GFI, I can get a three die on the ball. That's worth it. I don't know if that's what I take, but I can get it. One, two, three, four, five. That's a three die on the ball with him. So I think that's the play, is to take the, the GFI and take the three die. And rearranging things. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five. Get him. Wrestle. And then he goes in and gets it and gets away. Needs to protect him in case. Okay. So, oh, or he'll get it and run off. Yeah. So now I've got it here. Uh, I need to step that goblin here. Nope. No, no, no. Here's better because it makes him make two dodges to get away. But that's fine. So he's fine. Push. So I got really lucky on these block dice. Like he hasn't done a lot of damage. And I've done enough. So this is still only a two plus to get away. I don't it's gonna be rowdy to get him because he's a blodger. <coughs> so he can get a two die against on the ball, but he can't. I don't I mean probably he can make it a one die. Not doing that he can't. He's gonna stomp here. He's just going to take the stomp. Not a terrible choice. But... Get some stunned again. And now he's going to come up here. Again, this is a 2 plus to get away. Uh -oh. I don't know why I go after him. Uh, I get him. Now it's a 2 plus to get away. Do I score this turn? I don't think I do. I think I stall until turn 8. Because I'm not worried. Two heads not doing things. And he's injured. And I think that's a perm. Uh, it is lose one point in armor. So I had to fire him at that. That's unfortunate. Because that's a good little, that's a good rat. But he still has Shen, or this guy out here, Petra. Who can do damage to me? Shen's coming back. His Crocs is still theoretically in play. I've got enough good rats and good pieces that I don't really want to. That guy didn't qualify. As good as Snicket was, he didn't qualify for for Apo rights on this team. So he's starting to do some damage. You know, I, I was doing good and not taking damage, and now I'm I'm suffering a little. Push. He's going to surf him next turn. I don't care. But it a joke's going, number two can go out. So, okay, he's going to take a hit on Retriever guy. All right, so probably he comes out next turn. Oops. So I think the play is to, to blitz him here. To just punch him and go skink hunting. Going to go further away, out of range. No, I'm not at all worried. Okay, 
it. So I'm not going skink hunting. I'm just going to one die. I'm just going to two die my way out of there. I get a pow for my troubles. Follow. No armor break though. That's fine. Skink hunting also. Get him. Probably I want to pile this on if it doesn't remove him. Is it a KO? It is not. I already used Mighty Blow. I get the KO on the Stuntiness. So Stunty did a thing there. Just gonna dodge away. And he's gonna go activate the troll probably. And the troll's gonna throw a punch. With Claw. Pushes, that's fine. Probably he stays where he is. Yeah, because nothing can reach my important piece way up here. So, at this point, I might be in position to win this game. Um, you know, it looks like I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be up one nothing at the half. And all I have to do is score again uh, reasonably slowly. Like a four or five turn score is enough to make it hard for them to win. Got him. Nothing. So my guys were holding up admirably. This doesn't usually happen to me. Um, and a stomp on the killer. Stunned. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in. And that's the first half. So this is my drive now. I'm... Wait. Oh, he must have gotten a blitz. Yeah. So let's let's take the kick. So I got him back. I got my retriever guy back. Um, setting up a little lopsided, but not terribly. Just to see how he'll play. And he gets a blitz. So that's cool. He gets free punches on my killers. One of the six times, it's either a perfect defense or a blitz. I really don't like lining up to do damage because of that because it just ruins your time. So, gets his free punch, gets a knockdown, probably he follows. Gets a KO. So Snillich, the good killer, is off the pitch, but that's okay. He did, he did his job. And he burns a reroll before the half even starts. Again, to mark this goblin. Why? I don't understand that. Um, so I still have a Claw Mighty Blow player. You're in danger, because I get a three die on him with Russell. And tackle. Ooh, got him with tackle. Alright. Now the ball comes down. First job is to retrieve that ball. It's a one in thirty-six. Sure hands does a thing. Retriever Goblin would not have done it. Gonna blitz him off. Push here. No, nope, push him there. And then retreat back. That's a little too far. Probably I should have... I don't know. I don't hate that. Yeah, he's not doing anything, though. So it's two GFIs for him to even reach. So this guy's sufficient. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he could have blitzed. So this guy's good enough to make him make a dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those guys are doing something. Um, anyway, taking a block, get a push, stay in place. He's got to come for. He's got to free himself up. Yep. That's too far back. Here would have been nice, I think. Okay, so no shadowing. Posting up around this skink. And now I'm cut in half. Like, that guy probably should have stayed here. So this guy, I think, should be here. And this guy should be, like, up on the troll, actually. Because then he couldn't do that. Now I'm cut off from the troll and the goblin. And that's bad to be to have them isolated up there. 
he's doing his thing. He's going to probably punch the troll, but he'll punch the goblin first with Petra. Uh, oh, he's going to punch this goblin or the rat. The rat. He goes after the rat. Okay. Gets him. Dead. Sneed Venom. Dead. No, he's not. He's fine. So, given the choice between Sneed Venom and Snicket, I will take Sneed Venom every day for the Apo. So, it sucks that I lost Snicket, but it had to happen. Troll, once again, taking a face punch. Um, you know, 11. That breaks armor on a tree. There's nothing in the game that doesn't get broken by that. So, you know, in theory, I could still use Snicket, but I'm not, I'm not going to. So I take a claw hit on Petra. Greed re-roll it. Got him. And he's off the pitch. So that helps a lot, actually, to have a Crocs and that Saurus off the pitch. Again, I'm too far back. Um, the only other one who can hurt me, really, is Shen. That's the other one who will do things. So now I need somebody here. If I failed that, I was in trouble. Uh, I'm not sure what... Okay, scoring threat. Trying to protect him by tucking him in. So I got a little pocket here. He's got a lot more players than me. And I got a scoring threat who's easy to take down. Yeah, so, but he's out of reach of, of Shen. But Ender and Petra are off the pitch, KO'd. So that's good. Uh-oh. Punchy Punchy. Gets a pow with Mighty Blow. Nothing. So he steps him further in. So that that's a mistake. Claw Mighty Blow's right here. You know I'm going to punch you off. Like, I've got plenty of assists for it. And I'll take a one die if I have to. So, unless you're going to put them on Claw Mighty Blow, that's not going to do much. Yeah, you see, I've still got an assist. Troll takes his 50%. Going after Shen. Nothing. Got him. So that was rowdy. That was, that was unlikely. And he's gone. Again. So Shen got killed twice. Uh, the Apo saved him, and I said, no, he's he's dead. So he's got to come back in here somewhere. Yep. Now you got to get your goblins off. And he's going to come like down in here. Yeah. Now I need someone on the, to seal the backside. That's going to be him. I don't like that. That's too chain pushy. He needs to be one further out. Getting him up, posturing as a, as a receiver threat. I really don't like this. He should be here if he's going to do anything. So, just moving these guys around, trying to make it rowdy. So it's nine on eight. So next turn, the play is to come around here and pass to him. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pass. That's the play. That guy doesn't have tackle. That doesn't help you. I'm gonna stomp on the other claw. He's he's kinda had it with my claw. That's fine. That's fine. I've got Plenty of lizards off the pitch now. Okay. So the play, one, two, three, That's a four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a GFI, and then a throw. Gets it. Caught. And just, and he's off. So now I just need to, to get some goblins through to screen. That's not doing anything. I need him here. Ah, no. Don't reroll it. So that's that's fine. That was unfortunate. This guy 
if he'd come around up in here, I could have a little bit of the screen. Can these guys catch me? Yeah, so... One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, so he can try to score next turn. It's not on the right thrower, right? Because this thrower doesn't have the skills but to, to get away that well. But I can get to it and then do a one die with him. I can get to it with him, too. He can get down there. Yeah, so he's going to put the sure foot on two GFIs. That's painful. Okay. So he caught me. Oop. That's why I needed some guys up in here, just to make him make some dodges at least. Got him. Alright. So this goblin's free. This goblin is not. This goblin is free. This goblin is free. Oh no, he's not. He's stunned. Oh, that was getting away from him. But he's got to come up in here. Oh no, he's going to come back to get in their way. Just to stand in their way a little bit. That's not quite a screen. So he's going to be friend to the troll. He's going to come here, and I need to... Yeah. Got him with the pal. Should have followed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, see, he should be over here. Because if he was up here, this guy couldn't reach him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this is bad placement. So if he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he's out of reach of everyone, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he can step on me, step to me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these two guys can mark me, but they can't get to me if I am here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I'm here, they can mark me, but they can't hit me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as it is, he can mark me, and he can he can take a one die with block against no block. So that was a misplay. He should have been way out here, and nobody can get to me. So, that was a, that was, I don't know why the hell I put him here. That was stupid. There's no other way to put it. It was dumb. Uh, and it will cost me shortly. You will see. I had this game. Um, you know, that gives me the ability to get him. One, two, three. Stop moving, camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so if that guy's there, eight is here. He potentially can take a hit on one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can plug in a hole. He can take a hit. Uh, all kind, all sorts of things can happen up there. But he's going to make two GFIs to mark him. See? And he's going to make two GFIs to hit him. Reroll it. Gets him. So that's that's okay. One, two, three. So he can come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and mark both of them. Dodge fifty. So it's a it's a three plus, four plus, three plus. To score, right now it's a four. It's a three plus, four plus, three plus, which is not good. You know, you're talking about four ninths times half. So two ninths. You're like a twenty-two percent play. I'm gonna hit him. Push. Follow. Doesn't catch it. That's fine. He's going to stand up. So now I'm a little bit rowdy. You know, I got some pieces there, but he's going to come up. I should have been marking him. And he's going to blitz him. Pow him into the ball and scatter it so that his skink can just go pick it up. And he's going to get the removal. Injury. Not a big deal. So that was terribly unfortunate, but... 3+, plus, 4+, plus, 3+. Plus. And he's good. So that's, you know, he's got time to get down. 16. So this is 13, 14, 15, 16. Stop. Okay. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He needs to make one GFI with that guy uh, to be in the end zone. Or if I throw a hit on him, he gets a free point of movement. So I need to fill in here and here if I'm going to try and hit him to make him go backwards. But he only needs to make one GFI. That's not hard. The troll stands up. Nope. That was also my blitz, I believe. Yep. I'm going to just step to him. Step to him. And... 3 plus fails. Which wouldn't have mattered which guy I took it with. So... Oh, one, two... Stunty dodges to get free with him if he doesn't want to blitz. Hit. Gets him. And running around. Going to be on him, probably. First blitz here. Push. Push him here. Or there, and he's going to follow. He's going to dodge here. My nines are fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he's in range. Oh no, but it a joke's going number two. It's fine. Alright, so now it's like YOLO time, right? Like, I'm going to draw this game now if I don't do something crazy stupid. So he's going to stand up. He's going to go here. If the player is pushed, it will finish in the public. That's no good. Fans are much more yeah, so he's going to step forward, making it even easier. And I'm going to dodge out and I trip. He doesn't even need to dodge. Just to straight up walk it in. Uh, and this was my drive. So this is turn 16. I have no one-turner after this. That's going to be it. So one positioning error. And I went from what was a sure win to a draw. Now, there were people that didn't like the way I played with my positioning, backing up and giving ground. Um, yeah, it probably wasn't the best. Morpheus Scuttle leveled, so he'll take uh, piling on or tackle. I don't remember which. Uh, yeah, 44 block sustained versus 18. So... 18 blocks, I got 14 armor breaks, basically two deaths, because one of them was apoed. So that was th two injuries inflicted and three KOs on 14 blocks versus six removals on 44. Like, my armor held up more than it needed to. Yeah, see, he broke 14, I broke seven, and quite a few of them were injuries. SPP, he got 14, I got 13, that's fine. Dice rolls, his dice were pretty good. A little, little heavy on ones and sixes, but that's fine. Block dice, lots of skulls, and okay number of pushes. He basically traded some push pals for skulls. My dice, lots of skulls also. Lot, lots of pushes. Not a lot of both downs. So I didn't get very good dice on the blocks, but neither did he. Uh, my number dice were fine. They were great. You know, that's that's good. That's better than average. So, unfortunate to draw there when I should have won. Um, and, you know, probably giving all that ground was not the right choice. But after a blitz like that, I really just wanted to get the removals. So I was trying to give ground to try and spread him out a little. And I know that Chuck thought that I should have... Big Chuck thought that I should have put more scoring threats downfield. But... I, I think Stryker just ignores them. I think he, he, he plays to punish me. So, that was that match. Uh, see you next time. This is Goblin Marine signing out.